Welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make an inexpensive heat sealing iron to bond your heat sealable fabric. For this project, you'll need an adjustable temperature soldering iron and two different sizes of copper tubing. In North America, quarter inch and three eighths inch outside diameter tubing are readily available at plumbing supply shops, and hopefully you can find something similar wherever you live, but the exact sizes don't matter. First, cut a five centimeter length from each piece of tubing. Slightly flatten one end of the smaller diameter piece so that the flat tip of the soldering iron fits inside, and then crimp it onto the tip. Then slide the second piece of tubing over the first and crimp that one in place too. Use a hammer to pound the tubing against a flat surface and curve it such that it will press flat against your work surface when held in an angle. Be careful to keep the foot surface smooth so it will not tear your fabric. Then, turn up the end and corners with your pliers so they won't snag the fabric. Once your heat sealing iron is assembled, plug it in and adjust the temperature by trial and error until it seals your fabric well without melting it. Be sure to allow sufficient time for the temperature to stabilize each time you make an adjustment. When sealing your fabric, remember to apply pressure as well as heat to get a good bond. Once you have a working iron that you are happy with, you may want to apply some high temperature paint to reduce the friction between the copper and your fabric. Another option, if you want to spend a bit more money, is to purchase a trim sealing iron tip and adapt it to fit your soldering iron. You can either drill a hole in it to accept your soldering iron, or create a metal sleeve that will transfer heat between the two. That's all for now, but if you'd like to follow along with my DIY Packraft projects, hit the subscribe button, and if you find my videos useful, please like them. Thanks for watching.